everybody this is Tony at Creative Chica Shops and Hauls and today I have a small Dollar Tree haul for y'all and I figured I would share with y'all okay so this is just a small Dollar Tree haul I do have one thing that I bought at Marshall's and then um, I have one thing oh that's Burlington okay I'll show that to you too okay so Burlington Marshall's okay first of all um, my husband and I were shopping over at Marshall's. I kind of grabbed this thing. Like, it's like hooked on something. It's a blanket, guys. It's a blanket. Oh, my gosh. It's hooked on something. Hooked on you. Anyhow, so my husband and I were shopping over at Marshall's. And um, I actually didn't see this at first. And then we went down to Ross because we were looking for something. I can't remember what we were looking for. Oh, he was looking for some shovels and stuff. He found them at Burlington. Burlington has like a little teeny tiny area there that you that has like you know outdoor stuff and he had seen these shovels uh, a few months ago and the lawns the lines not not the lawns the lines were way too long so he said he didn't want to stay in line so I said okay but I said you know honestly the lines move rather quickly whenever you're shopping over there it does but whew, sometimes at Christmas time and you know Easter or whatever they're pretty long anyhow so I told him, I said, uh, I want to go back into Marshalls real quick because I'm looking for some of these stress uh, mats. Uh, I bought some at Timu. They're not that great quality, guys. They're not, okay, because they do not stick down to the floor, and they become a trip hazard, okay? I did buy some that were bees, um, but I got one, like, just sitting over here or laying here on the floor, but um, it's just a terrible trip hazard. So I ordered some from Amazon, which actually I think it, they may have just come in this box here. So I may open that box and show it to y'all because I bet you a dollar because they're kind of heavy. But they are B mats. So if that's what it is, I will show you at the end of this a video. Anyhow, so I was just walking along and I was going back to the rugs. They did not have any stress mats that I wanted. <sighs> they're just not my style, guys. Let me get a drink. Let me get a drink of tea here. I'm still not over this mess that I, that's been bugging me, guys. This bronchitis stuff. I just, I don't even know. I don't think I got bronchitis, but I got a runny nose. <laughs> Anyhow, so I found this. They had two Hello Kitty blankets, throws. This was the strawberry one. And I said, oh my gosh, I got to have her. I got to have her. You know, strawberries during the summer months and stuff. So, um, yeah, this was $16.99, $16.99 at Marshall's. They had two, but the, this is, the, the other one was different. This one was the only one that had strawberries, and I had to get it, guys, because I was looking on Macari, which I did order a couple of things from Macari recently, and they will be coming in in about a week or so, but anywho, um... So I saw these on Macari as well, and they want $25 plus shipping on them, and I was lucky enough to get this. I don't think I would have ordered it off of Macari, to be honest, but since it was there and it was at Marshall's, I went ahead and bought it. Look at the strawberry drink and a cute little Hello Kitty. So, yeah, I got that. Okay, then Burlington real quick. Burlington, so this is a Dollar Tree haul, y'all, but I had to throw these two in because I, I got another haul that's separate that is um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I bought these for my, my, I was fixing to say for my chickens. <laughs> I still have four chickens out there, guys. Anyway, um, these are kind rewards. They are formulated in the U.S., which is a good thing, okay? And they were $4.99, and my dogs, they love these. And now, I don't give my dogs rawhide, because um, these, these better not be rawhide. It says, made with real chicken. Okay, product is treated not, this product is a treat and not intended to be fed as a meal. Well, yeah, feed one treat per 10 pounds of body weight. Uh, okay. So, yeah, rawhide's not good for your dogs, okay? Rawhide does not digest. Um, I've seen it on the YouTube where dogs, you know, they would have to have surgery to get that rawhide removed. So, guys, don't feed your dogs raw hide, okay? Get them the digestible stuff. And so, this is made with real chicken. And um, so, hopefully, they like it. But for $4.99, I got that at Burlington. Yeah, I got that at Burlington. Okay, now, on to the Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so, let me see. I, I even forgot. What? I already 
showed this. This is like from um, Five Below. <laughs> well, be that way. Okay, so I mean, I don't really shop at Dollar Tree that much. I There's just not that much that I want to buy. Um, you know, but I did get these for my back porch because it's kind of cool at nighttime. My husband sits back here in the den and he watches his YouTube and he can see out there uh, th these light up. So for $1.25, I said, well, I'm going to get these and stick them in my flower pot. So I got the purple one and then I also got the yellow one. And, th and make sure that they got the little tab in here. So as you can see, it lights up. It's lit up, but you know, like the sun, you know, solar and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm going to put those out there in my little flower pots. And I got the orange one for $1.25. So I got those. Okay. And then here's my receipt for Fetch. I will have my Fetch linked in the description box below if you're already interested. Okay, so I'm into like, have, you know, drinking more water. My doctor says you need to drink more water. Water is good for you. You need to drink the water, okay? So I bought some of this crystallized lemon, true lemon. Now, I know Kimmy, she drinks this a lot. Sometimes you just want to have a little flavor in your water. And I was looking at all the stuff there at Dollar Tree, and I have to read the label because that aspartame, is that's what it's called? That stuff, if I drink it, it's not good. It's not good. It causes me aches and pains and just terrible I think I'm allergic to it, but uh, I, do, I don't want to drink that aspartame. Uh -uh. So I said, well, I'm going to get this. Uh, I've bought it before, but, you know, I am going to, you know, put a little bit of this in my bottled water to drink. So I bought that. I looked over at first. I said, they don't have it. I don't see it, you know. But then I went back and I looked again, and there it was on the top shelf. So I got that. Then I bought this. This is lime juice from Concentrate, and it's by Pampa. Now, my husband, he always says, says, don't buy stuff. Don't buy that Pampa stuff. Well, you know, it's a product of Peru. Um, you know, what can go wrong with uh, lime juice? I just don't know. But I figure, well, it would be nice to have some lime juice in my water, too. So I bought that. Isn't it cute? And they also have this in the lemon as well from Pampa. But, I, you know, I don't see a problem with it, to be honest. But... Yeah, I'm going to put some uh, lime juice in my water as well. And then I picked this up. It's like a little pencil holder. It's so cute. So I made me my little tray in there in my craft room. And um, the the one that I have in there now is a pink. So I got this lilac one because I figured, hey, you know, like, what? it's got something dark in there. Like it's something dark. See? What is that? Ooh, it's like a... I don't know what that is. Hmm. Well, it ain't coming out. And it don't matter because it's going to be in my craft room. But, like, I like to put pins in here. I like to put my maybe my bottle of glue in there because it's, it's like a turning tray that goes around. So, yeah. So, I got me another one of those. That was a wish list item there. And, oh, and I got me a sign. Sign, sign, everywhere, sign. Okay, you know, that's an old song, guys. You know. Anyhow, I picked this up. It says, Fun in the Sun. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. It's so adorable. Now, I saw Lene. She hauled this. Lene, Fashionly 50 something and beyond. She hauled one of these. I said, okay, wish list. On my wish list. So, I'll be looking for it. And I found it. Now, these are with some other signs that are similar to this. You may have to look in there and find you one because the other signs are very similar, but they don't have the popsicle on them. That's what that's what sold me was that popsicle right there. So cute. Anyhow, it's got the beads up here, and it's so just so adorable. So I'll be putting that up there on my wall somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know. Anyhow, guys, that's going to be all of my Dollar Tree haul slash collective haul you know i just had a couple of extra things in there but i wanted to show you my hello kitty it the blanket is so pretty and i like using it there on my couch because my couch is like that it's like a pleather it's not real leather whenever we bought that couch it was supposed to you know we were going to get real leather but my husband and i decided against it because sometimes that leather don't last very long 
And um, so it's like, I don't like sitting on it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't feel comfy. So I put blankets on it. That's why I buy so many throws. This shirt is about to choke me. Oh. Anyhow, it's my barber shirt. My barber shirt. Okay, so yeah, I like sitting on the throws. They're nice and soft and comfy. And the dogs, you know, they're up there with me watching TV and everything. So they like them too. But anyhow. But, um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be more picky with the throws that I buy. I don't need all these throws, but I do have quite a few. <laughs> I guess I collect them now. But, anyway, guys, I do appreciate everybody for watching. Please hit that like. That helps my channel to grow. And I will catch you all on my next video. I'm not sure. It may be a Hobby Lobby haul. I don't know. Maybe a Sip Snack and Show Saturday. We'll see. <laughs> but, anyway, guys. I do love y'all, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Okay, y'all. Like I promised you, I'm going to show you my rugs. They did come in from Amazon. That's why the dogs were barking. I don't know where the dogs were barking at the time. I probably redid my video. That's what I did. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is the rug that I got from Timu. But look, it kind of sticks up. It doesn't like my dog's got a bone on it. But it just slides all over the, it all over. It's ma mainly for decoration. Other than that, it's pretty much useless. But I didn't pay that much for it from Timu. But let me show you what I ordered uh, from Amazon. That was, it was, they were more expensive, but they're probably going to be worth it. So hang on. Okay, guys. So I put the sunflower one in front of my fridge. And as you can see, it does not move around. Oh my gosh. These are amazing. And like I said... What I'm going to do is, when they do get a little bit dirty, I'm just going to take them outside, scrub them with my broom with some Dawn. Okay, then over here, look at this. It's so adorable. Home sweet home with the Nomi. It does not move around. It's not a trip hazard. I love it. So sometimes, sometimes you got to spend a little bit more money to get what you want. Sometimes cheaper is not always better, guys. So, yeah, that's true. Because you sometimes, like they say, you get what you pay for. So Timu, I mean, I like Timu, but some of the those rugs, I would not recommend them. They will not stay down on the floor. Once you wash them, when you do wash them, it will really mess them up. So I'm just going to use mine over there, and I'll just scrub it and just reuse it. But these are amazing. For $26 for both of them, what a deal. So anyway, guys. I will see you on my next video. Bye.